Uh, good morning guys. I decided to bring my brother-in-law's lawnmower to my house to do some work. Uh, basically he decided to just to give it to me. He don't want no more headache. So he's gonna hire someone to cut his grass for him. So I'm gonna fix it up and put it on the market, basically. Alright, uh, first things first. He said it's still leaking oil and I must spray it still does. We parked it last night and you can see the oil dripping down. Alright. Uh, first thing first is to take it apart as always we're gonna take everything apart <sighs> replace with a new gasket that should help stop with the uh, leaking that's the deck all right let me go ahead our first step is to get the motor out once again okay guys after we take the engine out here's the problem okay as you can see it's missing put a bit of a gasket on this side and it looked like it's been uh, I guess doing the engine was only one, running on one piston all that vibration causes as you can see the roping right here the most right here and that's causing the gasket to uh, deteriorate basically I mean it's fixable it's going to look good so basically I'm just going to clean it up put a new gasket on and bolt the back in and this baby should be able to run again this is the uh, controller speed the governor all right guys we put everything back in we face the gasket okay guys it's late night so we're just gonna clean up the just do it slowly and clean up all this old gasket out and try to put the new gasket in tonight all right i had to go to work today so i didn't get a chance to finish it so Either I have to early in the morning or I have to work at night when I come home. All right, so I'm just gonna take my time, clean all this out, and come back after the video, of course. Okay, guys, our next step is to sand down a little bit, clean as much as possible. We still got some left right here. Right, we're We got this in, guys. Now we're gonna put the. We got this clutch coming out, huh? A little odd, but that's where we put it maybe in.
okay guys once you put this back in you gotta make sure uh, this screw right here okay on next I'll put this baby in alright this could be a little tricky but I'm gonna try it alright base one put this in first and we'll put the uh, the spring later on all right, let's get this baby in this coat goes in there let's see like so let's find my bolt and this is the bolt for that okay Where's the nut? Goes like so. Alright, that's how it goes in, guys. But let me get the phone down, I can't do anything. Alright, guys, it's how we do it. I don't have any helping hands, so I gotta do what I gotta do. Okay, look at this socket up there to hold it. And then I'm gonna use this one to tighten it. Spring. Alright, I'm gonna pull the spring like so. And I'm gonna use this two to pull the spring back in like this. Like this. You see how I pull it? Let me do it with one hand. That's the two hand. Ah, okay, I got it in. Now we're gonna have to pull, have to pull this part all the way to this way to put this uh, belt back in. Okay, guys, I got the belt in. It's a little hard, but you know you need two people want to hold that, pull it for you, and then you can put it in yourself. But in my case, somehow I got it. All right now, next step is put the. All right. We got everything in under there. My next step is to install this baby right here. I'm gonna call it a night. Alright, ignition coil. Alright, we're gonna install that one. This one right here. Okay guys, so basically we we'll put that one back on that one. And we're gonna put the two bolt on this side. And then this part here goes to this uh right here. For me to do this, I gotta put the phone down. Let me see if I can hold the phone in my leg and do it. Right, like so. And then this one goes to this one. Wow, this is hard. guys you can see oh this one came back out i need two hands so good morning my youtube fans and subscriber and follower all right day two of the repair guys a mess okay last night was a leg night i got the motor in i mean i didn't show you guys much uh the thing is i was a little confused putting all this back up i didn't have the video of the detail i took it off so it was a guessing game but 
you know, finally got it. There's one more thing I gotta do is this one part right here. That goes in there and then we're going to pick this up and put this pin in. I can do it with one hand. Uh, it's a little hard. One hand, let's see. Uh, uh, basically, dip this up. Okay, guys, I've got everything back in. The only thing I'm still concerned is this. I don't know where this spring goes. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna start the engine and see how it goes. All right, hopefully it starts, nothing blow up. Okay. Let's put this jack down. I put this right here. So if you hit that, it will turn this way instead of hit the truck. All right. Oh, I gotta breathe. All right, it doesn't accelerate, so therefore that spring is hooked up to something. Not sure where. So, because when I move this level up and down, nothing affect. Well, we see a little, a little hole right here. Underneath that, perhaps that's where the spring go. Might have to take everything apart and look at it again because you look at this okay when i when i this is supposed to be to accelerate fast and when i move it up and down nothing happened you know when you go up this way it hit that latch you push up and i think that's what the accelerator is and when you choke you go all the way down so we need to know where this spring go Alright guys, I didn't get the chance to record. We ran, I ran the engine for like two minutes or a minute or less. And guess what happened? Woohoo! That blew up. Don't know what caused it. <laughs> oh well. All that hard work. We're gonna need a new engine. Or just a cover, you know. No, we all look for one. It blew up. That's a big blew up. I mean, golly. That's just crazy. <laughs>